Hey folks, Ron here. Hey, I'm about to go into the sun, so pardon me. <sighs> welcome back, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a house that, uh, unbeknownst to me at the time, is owned by somebody even more famous than it was owned by when I filmed it. So I'm going to be showing you the home, which I believe is the current home, of Lady Gaga. Otherwise, true name, Stefani Germaka. Now, she also owns a home in Malibu. I'm at the top of the Hollywood Hills. I'm right here at the top of the Hollywood Hills near Mohon and Laurel Canyon, where all the rockers, rock and rollers love to live in the 60s. And right near me, within walking distance, is Anthony Perkins' old house where he lived and died in. Dan Ack Aykroyd lived up here. Mama Cass lived up here. Uh, current, you know, it's different kinds. It's not just actors and entertainers now. Now it's lawyers and physicians. But anyway, the particular house I'm going to show you, the Lady Gaga house, uh, was once was for decades owned by Frank Zappa. And his kids lived there too, and then the estate owned it. But they sold it in 2016 to Lady Gaga. And I believe she's still the owner now. Like I say, is she? I know she's got a house also in Malibu and probably others. At the time of this filming, Stefani or Lady Gaga is in her mid 30s and amassed obviously millions of dollars as a singer and an actress. So um, who knows? But it's a huge estate. And like with so many of the others, most of the others, you really can't get a full appreciation from it from, uh, from the outside. So we're going to take a look. It's a beautiful street, a beautiful area here. Squirrel. Actually, there's the house right there. We're looking right at it. So my interesting story, or interesting to me, is when Frank, after Frank, Frank Zappa passed away, his kids still lived here. And I had a, I worked in a retail store down, right down Laurel Canyon, so right down the major street. This is Laurel, basically Laurel Canyon and Mulholland. And Mulholland, you know, cuts east and west. And the kids, um, Dweezil and Moon Zappa would come that's the house, by the way. Dweezil and Moon. I hear a car. I just want to make sure a car isn't coming. Dweezil and Moon would come into the store I was working. And I actually, my other story about Moon Zappa, Moon Unit Zappa, Moon Zappa, who I guess she's best known for her 1982 song, uh, Valley Girl. She, I was on a date once. We were on Santa Monica Boulevard. And my date had to go in to use the restroom, so we just ducked into the nearest building on Santa Monica Boulevard after leaving a restaurant called the French Market. And there was a hallway that was separating the bathroom from the uh, another entrance to some other area. And I realized it was sort of the waiting place. The, the bathroom hallway that connected from a restaurant also connected to the stage at the... Um, it was a comedy club. It wasn't the comedy store. And it wasn't the Laugh Factory. I'll have to remember which one it was. But Moon Zappa was basically waiting in the wings and telling me how nervous she was. And I recognized her. She told me how nervous she was. She was going to try stand-up comedy. And they were about to call her name. But I said, hey, you'll do great. And hopefully she did. That's my little Zappa story. This is it. Lady Gaga house. Once owned by the Zappa clan. The Zappas. I hear a very loud pool uh, motor behind me. Cars coming. See, we're on closed circuit TV on the premises. So, anyway, oh, it looks like I'm talking probably too. Looks like I'm talking to my phone, particularly if I gesture. So, again, I know Lady Gaga's got the home in Malibu. I don't know whether this was the where the dog walker got accosted. In I think 2020 and the dog stolen which were later recovered and the dog walker shot or was he stabbed? I can't recall But God, what a horrific incident. You know, I think they did say in the Hollywood Hills. So it might have been this house it Must have really been something when the Zappas were living there. Can you imagine those parties? Can you imagine those parties? Very quiet here very, usually very quiet. House next door is for sale. So as I said, Gaga bought this house, or Mr. Mata bought this house in 2016, and at the time of this filming, apparently still owns it. Just one little car out front there. Is that a Mercedes? 
I don't even tell. That could be the maid for all we know. Wouldn't surprise me, Lady Gaga's housekeepers and maids drove Mercedes. So it's really fascinating up here, as I say, folks. I love this area. I love Laurel Canyon. I love the Hollywood Hills. And I think what I'm going to do now is go to a view site where I can look over the whole... Actually, I know it's above this tree. It's somewhere up there. i got to find it. But you never know. Some of these view sites, these paths, these little hiking trails are not listed or marked. They're just sort of near DWP stations or something. DWP is Department of Water and Power. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's Thanksgiving and it's 72 degrees. That's LA for you. That's California. Okay, folks. Somebody's having a little party back there. Can we see anything? Can I sneak a look? I just see a backyard and I hear some music. Hmm, sounds like the Pointer Sisters, but I don't think so. I can't. Lulu Glen. What a great. Lulu Glen. Look at that. Can you make that out? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to give you a whole uh, history of Stefani Germata because you probably know. But suffice it to say, very famous person here at the time of this filming for her generation, next generation, and in 10 years it'll be somebody else and others. And that's the way life is. Uh, maybe I'll go down the hill and look at Joni Mitchell's house now. Um, she's got a great house here too, which she still owns. Okay, folks. Um, so Ron here. Been a pleasure speaking to you and filming for you. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you do subscribe, please hit the little bell icon next to the subscription button so you'll be notified as to when I post. And please give the channel likes, folks. That's what really moves everything along, those likes. All right. Um, I'm either going to go up the hill or... Oh, there's so many people that live around here. I don't know who to do next. All right, guys. I'll see you at the next location. Thank you. Bye-bye.